Since the dawn of human civilization, we have been thinking about the night sky and what might lay beyond. Especially in the last 60 years or so, as technology has improved and our understanding of the cosmos has expanded, we know more about the universe than at any point in the history of our existence. However, while our knowledge has made leaps and bounds, we still truly know next to nothing about space, as so much of the final frontier has yet to be fully explored, if explored at all. That being said, the small amount of information we do have fuels us forward in our journey to gain wisdom and learn more about the cosmos. Regardless of what we do know, it's vital to the understanding of our existence and what might happen in the future, both here on Earth and throughout the universe. Thus, while we wait for new data points and pieces of fascinating details to comprehend our place amongst the stars, here are 10 incredible space facts we already knew that give perspective to the beauty of the cosmos. One of the greatest facts about our home planet is one most people aren't aware of. Granted, the phenomenon is not something people can experience or notice, but it is mind-blowing in the way we think about time. In 2016, Science.org published an article reporting that the Earth's rotation around the Sun is slowing, albeit very incrementally. With access to solar and lunar eclipse records dating back to the 8th century BCE, astronomers have pieced together enough information, along with modern technology, to determine the Earth's rotation is slowing down by a rate of around 17 milliseconds every 100 years. Of course, 17 milliseconds is a very small amount on its own, and 100 years is a very long time when you consider most humans don't live past 80 to 90 years old. However, over a long period of time, like the 1 million days between 780 BCE and 2022, the deceleration makes a difference, as the days gradually become longer and longer. Fear not, however, we won't be needing to adjust to 25 hour days for the next 140 million years or so well past our lifetime. If you thought a 25-hour clock would be hard to implement, what would you do if we told you the current axis rotation of Earth isn't even a full 24 hours? It's true, a full rotation on its axis takes Earth exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds just under 4 minutes off the full 24 hours we are accustomed to. The technical term for this is a side reel day. The reason we don't use side reel days instead of solar days is because those 4 minutes separating the two are used for the Earth to rotate back to where the Sun was the previous day, creating a succinct 24 hour day clock, also called a solar day. So, if we are on a trajectory for 25 hours a day while currently living on a planet that rotates on its axis in less than 24 hours a day, surely by the end of the year we've rotated around the Sun in a perfect 365 days, right? While it might not make much sense on a surface level, a technical year on Earth is actually 365.2564 days. Because the point 2564 day is roughly a quarter of one full solar day, it makes it simple to include a leap year every four years, with the 29th of February serving as those four quarters of a makeup day. A side fact connected with this is leap years actually don't occur on years divisible by 100, unless the year is also divisible by 400. Thus, the year 1900 didn't have a 29th of February, whereas the year 2000 did.
It's a common misconception to think of the Moon as the only satellite in close vicinity to Earth with a similar orbit around the Sun. But in reality, there are actually two other asteroids one could consider miniature moons. The first is the asteroid 2002-AA29. This asteroid is only 60 meters wide, but shares the exact orbital period around the Sun as Earth, one sidereal year. It also engages in a horseshoe orbit around Earth, bringing it closer to our planet a little bit every 95 years. Astronomers guess that in around 600 years, it will be close enough to perform a quasi-satellite orbit of Earth, joining the Moon as a natural satellite. The second is the asteroid 3753 Carinia. This asteroid is much larger at 5 kilometers wide, but doesn't truly orbit Earth like some believe. While it's called Earth's second Moon, it only shares an orbit with us around the Sun albeit on its own path. When you close your eyes and picture Earth, you probably imagine it as a perfect sphere. It's for good reason too, as photographs from space and models all around the world depict our home planet as a perfect sphere, or three-dimensional circle. What if we told you that's not technically the case? While the Earth certainly isn't flat, it also isn't a perfect spherical object. Rather, the Earth is a geoid in its truest form. This doesn't even discount Earth from being a rounded object either. Instead, the Earth actually bulges in its middle, right around the equator. The bulge forms simply due to the rotation of Earth on its axis. While Earth might be a geoid, that doesn't necessarily mean all of the round objects existing in the universe are also in perfect spheres with bulges and bumps. In fact, what is considered the most perfect sphere to exist in all of nature is just 93.5 million miles away. The Sun features just a 10 km difference between the equatorial and polar diameters microscopic when considering the size of the Sun at large. Rest assured, you are not bound to find something more spherical than the Sun that isn't man-made. Not only is the Sun a near-perfect geometrical phenomenon, but it is also a slow-burning harbourer of energy that will one day swallow Earth whole and destroy most of our solar system as we know it. After the Sun's hydrogen supply is completely depleted, it will begin to solely burn helium for over 100 million years. As the helium years go on, the Sun will grow so large it will consume the likes of Mercury, Venus and Earth. Don't worry though, as this phase of the Sun's lifespan won't trigger for another 5 billion years or so, long past the anticipated survival of human civilization. Once the Sun reaches its maximum size as a red giant, it will eventually shrink back down to a size even smaller than what it measures at now. In fact, the Sun will get so small, it will one day look like the same size and shape of Earth, give or take. Of course, the Sun will still remain a star and will contain the same amount of mass it did as a red giant, just on the scale of a white dwarf. People often talk about solar flares and how they impact Earth, yet most don't understand what the actual effect of the Sun is. Some believe solar flares make the Earth heat up, while others think it changes the weather patterns underneath the atmosphere. The truth is, neither of these ideas are true. Rather, solar flares can affect Earth by scrambling our radio signals and all-around radio communications across the world. This happens when magnetic fields atop the Sun's surface cross with one another for more than a few seconds, creating a huge output of energy in the process. 
This energy comes in the form of X-rays and gamma rays, releasing electric charged particles that build up in the upper atmosphere of Earth and weaken or eliminate certain radio waves. With all of the objects existing in our solar system, such as planets, asteroids and other space matter, you'd think they'd make up most of the system's total mass. In reality, the Sun itself actually consists of most of our solar system's mass. In fact, it's not even close to second place, as the Sun makes up 99.86% of all of the mass in the local solar system. Pretty incredible to think about. Thank you for watching this episode of Access Astronomy. We look forward to seeing you next week for another video.